Hello mga lods, welcome to this channel Bracing Nifty. My name is Roel. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, comment down below, subscribe to this channel, and turn on that notification bell so that you will get notified every time I posted a new video just for you. For solution C naman, eto, medyo, yung solution C, yung solution ng C, nung question, it's very complicated. So, what is the probability that the mean salary is between 514 and 518? So, take note that meron tayong mu dito na 512,000. Yung population mean natin. Ngayon, meron tayong green line dito to indicate kung nasaan yung value na 514. Sa red line naman, nandito yung 518. So, ang kukunin natin is yung probability nung nasa pagitan nung green at saka red na line. Paano natin makukuha yan? Kukunin mo natin yung standard score ni green, which is standard score ni 514,000, at yung standard score ni 518,000. So kung doon kanina sa solution B, yung standard score, yung probability ng standard score niya is yung probability o yung area before niyan coming from the left, so, yun din yung makukuha natin yung area nitong dalawa. Pag kinuha natin yung area niyan, area ni green is itong buong ito. Area ni red is buong ito kasama yung area ni green. So, paano natin makukuha yung area na nasa gitna? Is kunin natin yung area ni red. Pagkatapos, ibawas natin yung area na na-cover ni green. So, ibig sabihin, ang naiwan na lang yung area na nandito sa pagitan nila. So, yan yung magiging sagot dito sa probability that the mean salary is between 514,000 and 518,000. So, paano yung solution yun? Eto. So, gagawin nating Z1 is equal to mean 1 minus mu over standard deviation over square root of n naglolo ko ano n which is equal to si mean 1 natin si 514 so pag i-substitute natin lahat ng values na kailangan diyan masosolve natin yung value niyan which is equal to 0 0.07 okay si z2 naman we si mean 2 mean of the sample 2 minus mu over standard deviation over square root of n. So, si mi, eto, pareho lang si mu natin sa so standard deviation at saka si square root of n. Ang nagbago si mean 1 siya si mean 2. Si mean sub 2 natin, siya si 518,000. Para makuha natin yung standard score niya, which is z sub 2, pag substitute natin lahat ng values doon, makukuha natin na value is 0 0.22. So, what is the probability of Z1 less than 0 0.07 doon sa table lalabas na 0 0.5279. Okay? Then, si probability na si Z natin, Z sub 2 natin is less than 0 0.22 Ang area na na-cover niya is 0 0.5871. Ngayon, ang concern natin is yung area in between. So, this is just area nito. So, that is 0 0.07Z 0 0.22. Ito yung gusto natin malaman. So, ano yung area nito, probability ng area nito, na in between 0 0.07 and 0 0.22? So, paano siya isosolve? Kukunin mo lang yung area nito. This is just equal to 0 0.5871. Ibawas mo yung area ni Z1, which is 0 0.5279. Which is equal to 0 0.0592. So, ito na yung area ng pagitan ng dalawang 
values na mean salary which is from 514,000 so 500 to 518,000. So meron lang tayong or or 5.92%. So meron tayong 5.92% na yung probability ng mean salaries between 514,000 and 518,000. So, ganun yung pagkuha ng areas ng probability ng mga mean salaries given. Kailangan So, eto yung gagawin natin. Kailangan muna nating kunin yung standard score ng mean salary na given. After niyan, intindi natin yung problem kung ang hinahanap ba is less than, more than, or in between. At lahat ng area na nakukuha natin sa table is yung area niyan coming from galing doon sa Z natin, standard score, pababa. So, kung ang hinahanap is less than, yun na yun yung area na nakuha doon. Pag greater than naman is kukunin natin yung area na nasa baba, kagaya nung ginawa natin sa B, ibabawas natin yun doon sa buong area ng normal curve which is equal to 1. So that is 1 minus yung area na nakuha natin. Doon natin makukuha yung area ng more than. Pag in between naman, kukuha tayo ng dalawang standard score ng dalawang mean salary na given Parehong standard scores na yon, ang makukuha natin is yung area nila going to the left. Saka natin, ibabawas yung, uunahin muna natin isulat yung area nung standard score na nasa rightmost. Ibabawas natin yung areas, area nung standard score na nasa left nung rightmost area na hinahanap natin. Saka natin, kunin yung difference, yung area in between that one is equal to the difference na nakuha natin. That ends our video, part 1 and part 2 video on Z-test, Z-score, and Central Limit Theorem. Thank you.